All right, it's time to play some more Imperatorum because I feel like it mostly. Uh, and I looked at the Steam page for this game, and holy shit, are the reviews negative. I think it's sitting at something like 39% or something like that on Steam. Actually, hold on, do I still have the page up or did I move? No, I moved. So that page is gone, but either way, it's a, it's extremely low. Like, it's absurd. Uh, I understand the game has issues. I agree with the issues. The naval combat's kind of garbage. Uh, there's not a whole lot to do during peace. Really, during peace, I'm just sitting here passing time for the most part. Uh, naval combat's trash. There's... It's really just like an addendum. Is the uh, naval combat. You just build ships and they do whatever the fuck they want. There's no... There's nothing going on there. Um... The countries, the nations, do fair, feel pretty similar, uh, even if you're playing a different, you know, government style. Uh, I do like the... What are these guys? Tribes? Because they have the uh, clan leaders and stuff, and that adds a little bit going on there, but... You know, not too much. It has its issues, but 39%? Come now. That seems a bit extreme. I would say probably 70% is what I would expect the game to be at. It is a Paradox game, uh, and if you're not a fucking idiot, you realize what that means upon release, because Paradox, as much as people don't admit it, has a tendency to release a lot of DLC, and I do mean a lot of DLC. That's basically what that company is built on. They release a, a product which effectively acts as a base. Uh, that they can essentially release a DLC for that adds on to it. If you look at CK2 or EU4, which are both beloved games, when they first released, they weren't very good. I will admit that, and I love both of those games. When they first released, they weren't... I would probably argue that they really weren't any better than this game is. Uh, and then if you actually want to play them in their full... You know, Nate, what, what would I call that? Full nature? I don't know. If you want to actually play them, like, seriously, you either have to own the DLC or know someone that owns the DLC and then play multiplayer with them. Because the amount of features that are actually hidden behind that DLC is extremely high. I would probably go ahead and argue that more than half of CK2 and EU4 is behind DLC at this point. Monthly general loyalty is probably a good idea. Again, keep the, uh, the generals happy and you have a lot less risk of... Imprisoning governors left, right, and center around here for whatever reason, but that's okay. But anyway, yeah, the, the game has issues. I just, I find it crazy that it's that low. Like, I mean, I've I've played... How many hours of this have I played? Steam, what you up to? Uh, I've played 54 hours of this. And frankly, I'm, I've enjoyed it for those 54 hours. Do I wish there was more stuff? Yes. Uh, am I a little upset that that more stuff is inevitably going to be tied behind... Um... DLC? A little bit, yeah. Because I don't really like be I don't like buying DLC, I'll be honest with you. I, I have very little interest in purchasing DLC like that, so... Sucks a bit that that's a thing, but... Uh... I have silver-tongued, I may smoothly talk him out of his ambitions. But anyway. I'm at 35? Yeah. But yeah, that's, that's the thing, I just wanted to bring it up. I got really nothing to add to it. I just think it's a bit absurd that people be like that, but that is how they be, so. We'll just continue moving on. Our taxes are surprisingly high. I don't really need the unrest. So, I think we get national tax. But anyway, yeah, that, that just, I just wanted to bring that up, and then we'll go back to our uh, regularly scheduled 
chopping up the video because again I mentioned it during peace I really don't do anything so unless you just want to sit here and listen to me ramble it's probably better to cut it but we'll get right back to that all right it's time to force ourselves on Syracuse by declaring war forcibly declaring war they have no allies we'll get some tyranny from this but you know at some point we should probably work that down but for now that's not really a problem their only fort is although they have the capital fort so they have a level one fort there and then the capital fort which is free uh we're gonna fight this over here and we should win did i leave my economy i must have left my economy at normal interesting but we should easily win that yeah i'll march our bot over there and win it again their army is apparently better quality than you oh, i have a lot of light infantry that's fine how they have nothing but light infantry how is theirs better don't understand But we have to take this fort to uh, move on to the next one, so. More corruption. That's what we need in our life is more corruption. But their, their military is pretty small compared to mine, so I'm not terribly worried about it. I will attempt to keep my units relatively close together, though. Or what should hopefully be obvious reasons. Not that that's super easy to do, but... Because the fort... Yeah, the fort's down there. So we can we can move this way into that. And also move around into that. doesn't really matter. What we can't do, though, is move to the next fort. Because the only way to get to this fort is through here, which is in... This is... This is... The area of influence of that fort, so... As you can see, they don't like that plan. We could take a boat over there, but... I'm really not too fussed about it either way. Downside is we do take attrition while sieging. Which I hate, but, you know. Can I be playing? No, because the fort. Always with the forts. You suddenly have 37,000 dudes just chilling. Give up on that siege. Uh, Charisma, take him out of this rash action. Oh, you'll actually walk back and take that fight. I really wish we could uh, chase them, but I can't, so, because they'll just run past the fort, so until I manage to siege this fort, there's really not a whole lot I can do here. We just stand there. Is anywhere I can stand that doesn't give attrition all the way over there, out of that place? The only two options we've got. Hostile attrition siege ability. Thank you very much. I'll take that. This is an island that I should siege. I didn't realize that was a separate thing. Oh, we took that really fast. What the fuck? Uh, send them funds. We have a lot of money because our income is pretty good. So Siege that. Bring you back down here. And we gotta siege their capital, which will have their military on it. Which I will have to fight at some point. Wherever the hell it is. Probably just sitting there, unless they, like, put it on a boat. Yeah, there it is. Gotta be careful about this because my army is split in half. So if they opt to attack me, which they will. 
And we get there in time. We did. And we still win. We do. Barely. But we did win, so. We're still. Ah. Uh, hate castles. I hate castles so very much. Because despite sieging that castle, we cannot just walk over here. So he's just gonna fucking free roam and take shit. He has to siege, and I don't know if his siege is as good as mine, so. National citizen output. Ruler pop population. I like my pops. Apparently I was getting tribute, or someone was, because I just got a pop-up about tribute ceasing. I really hate the religious pop-ups. Because they're fucking... They're always, almost always negative. Oh, how did you fucking manage to win that siege before me? Will we win that fight? We will. Unfortunately, this means we have to fucking re-siege this castle, so... Boy, howdy. Oh, and you're gonna just retreat to somewhere. Good. Hate castles. So much. I fucking... I abuse them too, to be fair. I always build them at, like, choke points and stuff. Speaking of, you can go away. Because we have one right there. Oh man, free money? Sign me up. He's probably just sitting in this corner. Being a bit of a cunt about it. He's going to maneuver around and be a bit of a cunt about it. Give him some more attrition. Because this technically counts as my territory, I believe. I don't know where he's going with his... This plan of his. Gonna try and siege out my stuff? That's just gonna come back and fight me. Okay, well. That's what's known as free military experience, and now we'll take all of your stuff. Thanks. And we will become a major power upon doing so. Also, more Romans. The marvelous city will become a new essential part of Rome. It's a minus three unrest. I would prefer the unrest, so. So we're a major power, I skipped over that, but in case you haven't seen it before, we're a major power, so we have these following effects. We can have alliances, we can guarantee. We get uh, extra import routes and bonus government multiplier things, which are these right here. All of that jazz. You guys go back to doing whatever the hell you want. So we still have to deal with this, which is uh, in a defensive league with somebody. I don't... Oh, they're in a defensive league with them. This is actually beneficial. Uh, they're not guaranteed by anyone, so... I believe this is our new task. Also, I built some roads. Well, people weren't around. I need to expand my military pretty badly, but, uh... Okay, we're negative on that. But that costs money. And I don't have any. Well, not money. It costs manpower, and I don't have that much, so... We stand united. We'll have to be careful over here, because, actually... I think we will build some. military down here. I was going to say to be careful because they've got a 30k stack. This dude here is is irrelevant. We'll just crush him really fast. We will have to siege that so that army will be occupied for a while, but that's okay. They want us to declare war. We already have a claim on them because I believe we start the game with a claim on them, or I made it at some point. I'm not sure. But this still puts us below their strength. And they have a 12 military leader. Holy shit. 
It's not much below their strength. And we have the advantage of cavalry and heavy infantry. But that 12 commander... Ooh. That's a rough one. I might opt to go on the offensive down here as well. Because they're, yeah, they're sitting at the uh, no morale. Of course, they're not going to let me take that fight. My god, how generous. Extra morale on armies. We are victorious. Oh, my boat. So it's just going to roam around and fight people. Gotta be careful here, and I don't know what these two idiots are doing, but... Oh, they're split. Their army is split, that's right, so they're gonna wander around with it. That's fun. My siege capability is much better than yours, and I can get a new trade route. Which I will probably get to fish. Because I like fish. I will also check. Yes, I have that turned off. Don't know why that defaults to on still, but hey. So we won that siege. If I fight here, it's neutral. Because they're leader. Mostly, and that one's one. So we'll just sit here. Ah, you want a piece? You will not have a piece. Instead, you will be crushed with it. Oh, fuck. I say crushed with a pincer attack, but the fact that I have the uh, heavy infantry slows me down. One of you go there, one of you go there. That should cover everything. Tribesmen move to dudes. I don't know where Berint is. Should really always find out where the place they're moving to. Is it mine? No. Take the reduced tribesmen happiness. And we'll also take something here. Monthly war exhaustion. Irene morale. Not that that really matters, but... I dislike that armies can uh, force retreat to areas that are not controlled by them. I feel like they shouldn't be able to, but whatever. So what is in this war? Lynchia. You are. I could push over here with some boats. Because I have claims on this stuff. Again, I wish there was a way to see easy claims that you have, but I have claims against them. But I think if we're going historical, I take this island. I don't think we take this one. I take this island and then we kind of splooge over into Iberian Peninsula. I'd attempted just a piece out of this. Take those two that I actually wanted to begin with. Yeah, we just piece out of this. So you guys back to free roam and do whatever. So we've got the boot, we've got Syracuse, well, the non Carthaginian portion of Syracuse. Uh, at this point, I believe we scooch up and then scooch left. Historically. I, it's. You know, the, I've probably forgotten at this point what the historical thing is. Because I didn't check again. I'm just going off of memory of what I said last time, but it's something roughly like that. We have so much money and no manpower. And this is probably at least partially... I like the color of them. I like the dark color. This is probably partially because I'm building nothing but granaries, when I could probably be building a lot of training camps, but... I said this is the granary... the granary... the granary run. And god damn it, I mean it. This is the granary run. This is the run where I prove that granaries are just as useless as everyone thinks they are. By the time we get to endgame, I will have so much income, it'll be absurd, but that's also irrelevant because places like Egypt exist that have that much income to begin with. Phrygia should have some good income, yeah. 
60-60. Egypt was 60-53. Uh, Seleucids it. Not much, actually. Carthage has crazy commerce income, yeah. We're sitting at well, basically 30-30. We lost a bunch of commerce for some reason. Just up my taxes. Taxes are making most of our money, why not up it? Okay, what do we have? Ish. God damn. Citizen output's probably pretty good. Aggressive expansion's not bad. Ruler popularity gain's also pretty good. Give me my fish back. Always give fish. But anyway, back to the uh, whole peacetime not doing anything. We're gonna up our military power. Basically by just expanding how many heavy infantry we have. Basically nothing else. Kind of expensive, but they're they're nice. But I also want manpower to regenerate, so... We might be here for a while, I'm not sure. It's time for another war. Having said that, immediately before I started recording, this happened. And this seems to continuously happen. I don't know what causes this, but Picanum, there's probably just unrest, but Picanum keeps splitting off from Sinonia. And, you know, doing the traditional declaring war thing. Now, they always lose this because... I mean, they have nothing. Compared to Picanum's uh, allies. Doesn't really matter what they do. They will always lose this. And having said that, they always seem to trade with us immediately, which makes us a little bit of extra money. And now that I've uh, said it's time to declare a war... Wonder if we should wait. Like, let them fight and then go, or do we fight first? So they'll wear, wear, they'll wear themselves out a bit. They've got a decent military, but they don't really have much manpower. I mean, compared to my military, it doesn't matter anyway. Because we did expand. We're up to uh, 90. Most of which is heavy infantry. We've got 515, 55 as all of our uh, cohorts. As all of our militaries. But yeah, they'll finish this war pretty quick. It's probably a good idea to set up some people here into positions of benefit to us. You can stay there. Actually, you can go over here. So it gives us a straight line to that fort. We can quickly capture that fort. I don't know if that's a real fort. No, it is a real fort. I was gonna say, or if it's just a capital fort, but there you go. So we'll go ahead and declare war. This will bring people into this. Some of which are not their allies. Where are... Kentia, where are you? Oh, you're the little dude right there, okay. Oh, you're actually allied with them as well? Hmm. Intriguing. Maybe you go over there. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. We're gonna suffer some attrition. A lot of attrition, as it turns out. There we go. Just waiting for people to get into range. This is gonna be a, a lot. What do you mean, no CB? I have a CB now. It is the cheapest possible CB that we can actually have, but... We'll still say... No, we'll say Amelia, so we can get a faster uh, ticking war goal. But you guys walk over there, you guys walk over there, and you guys walk over there. Our army is split, so while we are strong, uh, we should be careful about it. But this puts us on three forts quickly. I'm racing. 
Probably should have taken something military based considering that's what we're doing, but this puts us on the three forts that we can quickly theoretically take. And we'll probably want to attack this guy with this army. It's down here. Clean up that one. This guy's gonna be just kind of on his own for a while. Yeah, our siege ability is pretty good. It's probably due to all of the heavy infantry. A plus one from the leader, plus two from siege engineering. Uh, we took this comically fast, actually. Anywhere you can stand nearby that keeps you from getting attrition? Unfortunately, no. This is we got us 31 over there, so that's probably where we'll go hang out for a little bit. Wow, you took that siege. It's rather rude of you. Means I have to go take that back. I was kind of hoping they wouldn't beat me out on that siege, but our RNG is a little bit bad right now. Hello. Please stay there. Like, this thing's been at 42 for so long right now. Actually offended that that took that long. Hello, pop-ups. I'd rather not side with either of you, as much as that costs loyalty. As long as it's not my military leader's loyalty, I don't really feel too concerned about it. Go fight them. But if we can win this, which I hope we can, they got a lot of attrition damage, but... If we can win this, this puts us quite a bit of land that I would actually like to own, so... This guy's basically worthless, he doesn't have the troops to siege a castle. And we're probably gonna have some unrest issues, so you can have that. Siege engineers is probably a good idea, because it gives us another plus one. I don't know how the math works out on this. I'm pretty sure these numbers are just straight correlated to a uh, dice, yeah. 1 to 14, we're currently at plus 8. Of free siege power. Do you have another castle over here? No, just, this is just like allies and stuff getting in. So you won that. Start moving you up this way. We have won this war. Probably just gonna leave this army over here just to deter, deter things on that side. I can leave him somewhere that doesn't have attrition. All the way back there. It's a bit far, but... The less attrition, the better. We're we'll waiting to siege that down, and then we're gonna just move both of them into this. Like so. Probably didn't even need to wait for that. I keep forgetting just how strong heavy infantry are around here. Because we're fighting a bunch of dudes that are using pretty much solely light units. So heavy infantry does really well. But once I have finished these sieges, we will end the war, because that is all I care about, and boy is not involved in this war. So, boy being the purple dude up here that is, I believe, historically a block for Rome. It's also a potential block for Rome in the game, so... Okay, move that window back. Suggest, that's everything I want, take the money, easy. More Romans. I like that we just get 20% of a free room. Okay. You guys, go back to independent. Set my economy back down to low, except for boats, because boats are always busy. Give you a governor that hopefully... Yeah, sets you up with the right policy. I can show you the policies are running. It's mostly going to be assimilation everywhere. 
which is a fantastic loyalty gain chance plus 20 I'd rather not is this guy a leader? Dias Julius he's not so he dropped down and he is negative but he's also old so not terribly concerned but we have this policy here on basically everything, so we're getting free convert on a lot of stuff. 125 from that dude alone. This guy just started, so he's at 28. Didn't just start, but he hasn't been working on much for a while. But there you go, we yet expand. Don't be honest, I don't know that anyone can really stop us now. Because we can comfortably sit on 90 stand up. 90 standing army. Just gotta get our manpower back up because we spent it all. No attrition. No attrition? We're missing an army. <laughs> We're. It's moving somewhere. Where is it? Oh, there it is. What are you doing? Just gonna sit over here, that's fine, I guess. I declined it. No, I'm sorry. But anyway, there you go. My my southern military is just gonna chill down there, I guess. More sieges. We're very good at siege. I don't know if you noticed that about Rome, but they're very good at sieging things. This is the epitome of properly writing name of a country on a on a map. This is it right here. So I'm not doing anything. I've just been scrolling around. I'll we'll get back to what I was just looking at. Uh Domitia is looking like they're gonna claim all of that, but you know, the world looks mostly relevant or intact. Then we come over here. To Iberia. And Carthage is being absolutely crushed by a tiny little four city region. I mean, they're at war than, with more than just that, but that's the war leader. And they're just being absolutely crushed over here. I don't know what's happening. I think maybe they just can't get troops over here. They didn't have troops. They can't get the boats over here. They don't have many boats. But Silesia is about to expand extraordinarily. I really don't want to pay 670, but... I don't know, I don't know if I can go two years without military support, so... But yeah, that's what's going on here. I need monthly loyalty down. I really want to see this war end. I wish you could see... Oh, you can, never mind. I was gonna say, I wish you could see the war score. They're at negative 17. Oop. It ended. And for some reason, Carthage took Cilician land. How? What? Why? For what reason? What the fuck, game? I found an even, or noticed, I should say, an even better iteration of how to write names on maps. Look at this shit. Why is it doing this? It's already over the impassable terrain. What the fuck is... What the fuck? A lot of unrest, but we get some free culture? Yes, please. I like those pop-ups. I think Rome is the only one that gets those. Which, you know, kind of sucks, but Rome also does, you know, assimilate a lot of different cultures. We can look at it here. The south, they've got a lot. Up here, they've got the Gallic culture. Gallic. And then over here, they've got all this stuff. Free indo european Hilltop here. But anyway, you, you see they end up going through a lot of different cultures rather quickly. 
I guess it's kind of nice that they have that pop up 13 from that man. Probably shouldn't have done that, but 73 years old in this day and age is an accomplishment. He's dumb though. Dumb, lazy, has arthritis, but man, can he work you over. Anyway, map names, how do they work? It's time for another war. We will let it begin. Oh, I'm actually negative. Which is surprising. So that's the that's the limit. 140 cohorts I adjusted. We're at 5-5, uh, 15-5-5 five, 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 five now. We have five uh, heavy cavalry to go along with our groups here, but... You know, shouldn't be too much of an issue, but... This dude's at war with a bunch of people. They're mostly small, except for that guy over there. Uh, and his ally is only in Subria, which is another territory that I would like to have, so... If I can take on both of them in one go, that would be tremendous. The attrition is going to kill me, though. Wait. Oh, I hadn't updated yet, right? I could up something like commerce or, uh... The taxes. Just to cover our very slight negative, but we have a lot, we can run a lot of months with that negative, so. They have the advantage of already being at war, so. And I forgot to up our economy earlier, so we have to wait for our morale to recover, which doesn't take very long. Should be one more tick. Which is another month. There. We will declare war. Make sure you're still at war. You are. Make sure your ally will come in. Because why wouldn't they, of course? And we fight. Scoot you along that way. We ha I uh, preemptively got military access from this guy, so we can get through this. Uh... I'm tempted to just march my dudes right along here. The downside of this military composition is we have extreme attrition. Like our weight, our supply weight is so high that basically no matter where these mil these armies stand, they're going to take attrition. Which really sucks. But I don't know that there's a way around to this, so... I don't need fort defense. There are uh, inventions that we can get that give us more supply limit on our territories, but it's like 10% at a time, so it'll take a while. Did I siege that area? I did. Did he siege that or did I siege that? He siege. Doesn't matter in the end. I'll take all of it, but... Like, if you're just gonna take everything, I'm gonna be offended. Let the looting be gentle, of course. You will auto-take all of that stuff for me. Try and take some land here. I don't get like entirely cut off. But if I have to have split territory, then you know, so be it. So that siege is one. March you over to the next castle. May as well march you towards that castle too. We are victorious! I don't know what we fought, but we're fucking victorious about it, so... This is gonna be a mess, because it's two different wars being fought over the same territory, so... I don't know whose war, whose war will take priority when all of this ends, but... There's their military. I should probably go do something about it. Or I could just let them throw themselves at it, I suppose. Nah. I got armies standing around. We got we got stuff to do, Rome and all that jazz. We'll let this army siege whatever else is still left over here that needs to get taken. I dislike that sieging kills pop, but it does make sense. Population. 
Because gosh darn it, that's what we need is population. I don't believe we do. Who the fuck sieged that? Gracia. Oh, that's them marching around over here. That's okay, don't help them siege. We don't like them. We don't like them one bit because they're taking my shit. Their war has ended. And they took a weird chunk of land over here. Who, who's war? That's a different war that ended. I don't really know. But all of this land is open. And this land is my land, so... We forgot about that army sitting over there. We have no manpower, so... The army we have is going to very quickly decay. We will want to end this war, preferably now. And I don't need to have all of this stuff siege, as long as I have the war goal, which I don't. Is Amelia, which is that long province. Okay. You guys have fun with that. We will continue sieging out territory over here and like everywhere else because I have the military for it. Because why not? I have too much military, mind you, but just barely. And once we lose men and, you know, it reduces the cost of running the military when people die, as you know. Now, because our armies are actually so small now, I don't think they can take a fight very well. So, once this stuff is siege, whatever I can take in a siege anyway. Go ahead and see if we can just call it Sue for Peace. Now, let me take everything, including that. Which will be awkward because this dude's in the way, but... Ganusha, and we'll end up fighting them at some point anyway. So I think we just take that. Just imprison. I don't do that very often, but... Now why do you auto-select boats? That's everyone. You guys go do whatever it is you need to do. As long as I have military access with that guy, it doesn't really matter that we're split off there. It's just ugly looking. It's a, a very tiny room up there. But our next goal is probably to get rid of uh, these smaller ones along the coastline here. Take that land, obviously. Let's let them grow whatever they're already growing. I think plus two is probably better than 0.025% population growth, but I'm not entirely sure on the math on that. Good lord. Just everyone wants to trade with me. But yeah, that'll be our goal. We'll scooch those little dudes up. And Subria has land there. Is that all of the land they have? It seems to be. The slaves of Pompeii are revolting. I don't like this. Ah, that would be why everyone up there is mad. So our whole northern spot's about to revolt. Oh no, it's just, just the little army up there. Well, they're going to take some land, probably. Well, never mind, they're just going to immediately march out of my territory. I was expecting like a true revolt that it splits the land off and goes to war, but... They've just decided to leave and go siege someone else. Like... Cool story, I guess. It was a good revolt. Glad we got the penalties for that. Alright, we're gonna do probably a couple back-to-back -back wars here pretty quickly. We're gonna attack this. Their only thing here is they have a subject, which is that little nation right there. 
which doesn't matter in the slightest because I will just crush both of them. So it doesn't, you know, it's a thing. Please stop taking my money. Go ahead and declare war. Take the Sei. It'll be easy. We'll just walk into them. Your subject state has not been called into the war yet. What? It's because I have to declare war on them, not not the fucking CB, and it costs extra to make another CB. God damn it! I decline that again. You don't have a leader. You also don't have a leader. What are you? You have a leader. Leave the other one without a leader because it doesn't actually matter, but gotta declare a separate war on this, which makes them the war leader, and it's kind of all relevant. Go we'll siege this castle, shall we? I feel like they want me to bring more military. It might just be me. But I believe this to be correct. I already have siege ability. Construct order for it. Let's get the upgrades for our light units because I am still using a few light units. So, where do you think you're going, sir? Becomes the militaris. That reduces the value by three, and we owe we have we owe them three favors. So. Bit extreme, but it's what we gotta do here, I suppose. I like when we win fights literally instantly. That's my favorite. I keep going that way. May have canceled that on accident. Yeah, now we won't catch them. Also, I get so many trade pop-ups, it's actually annoying at this point. Like, everyone always wants to trade with me, regardless of their opinion of me. They just like, we must trade. Give it to me now. Alright, you go back to Rome. Trying to lower the amount of attrition we suffer at any given period of time, because our troops are far too heavy. But again, this is the downside of using so many heavy infantry and whatnot. A lot of our manpower losses are actually just from... Suggest that... More Romans. And then we just end this one separately. There we go. And you... Uh, your current weight is not what it says it is because you have lost men, so that's not going to be able to support you. Just gotta walk all the way back to Rome, roughly. Just for now. And then uh, we're quickly going to go to war against Ganesha here. Their only allies being the other two people I want to fight anyway. And then Ferrari is their little vassal thing. I don't know why they made this, but they made it. I can actually... Yeah, I can force an easier war. Which is probably a good idea. Force a way, an easier war by going to war with Ferraria, and it just brings their uh, overlord in. I don't think I've ever gotten anything good out of this, so I'm just gonna tell them to leave. To be honest. Also, I completely forgot that there are barbarians up here. That's our first encounter with barbarians. There's also uh, another little group of them over here that's pretty close to me, so... They show up occasionally. As you can see, there's a migrant horde right there. Doing their duties and whatnot, I suppose. Also, I can show you the culture map. There you go. Bit of a mishmash everywhere, but... The red is slowly expanding, and it's mostly Roman. So... And then the... Uh, religion map mode follows more or less the same line. Little bits of Hellenic in the middle of all this fucking druidic up here. But there's your map mode. 
I'm pretty sure that's what we'll do. We'll, um... We'll declare war on... Yeah, all these favors are coming up. Have to happen eventually. We'll declare war on Ferraria. That reduces the cost and it means I only have to move... Probably only have to move one dude up here, but for the sake of speed, we're gonna move a second one up. At the cost of manpower, unfortunately. Interesting, the Civil War I didn't know existed. I need, like, big research points, but I need means of reducing the fucking attrition we take, but I don't think there's a way to do that besides the supply increases. And the supply increases, as you're unaware, are not particularly fast. A single army is more attrition than we have in monthly manpower. That's crazy. We're about to have two of them taking attrition, so... We'll go ahead, fabricate a claim on you. It's expensive for the amount of land we get out of it. Right, I need an army down here. I forgot that's where all of his land is. Someone up here doesn't have a leader. We may acquire a leader. Means we have to take more attrition, but... That's okay. I mean, we have a fort. Technically, we could take this and then march over here and just, you know, suffer whatever attrition we... Or, uh, whatever... Land loss we take, but... Anusha becomes the war leader, that... Actually might mean they can pull their allies in. I don't remember. That'll be easy to take though, and then you siege that. There's this fort here that'll take some stuff, a castle, whatever it is. But I'm not too worried about it. I'm gonna siege this and then move this army over here, basically. Because the castle will auto-siege that whenever it's done. I'm in no particular hurry. So the trireme discipline. Daily slaves, wow. What a useful thing that I could potentially unlock. Where are you guys retreating to? Here or further? Further, apparently. So you go ahead and come over here. Why is that not auto sieging? Curious. Oh, they called their allies in, didn't they? No, just that one ally. Did you lose your other ally? Just haven't called them in. Curious. But that's more free land for me, so... It's under representative, because I don't want this fucking nonsense. This is Rome. We do this right, or we don't do it at all. Why is that? What? Why is it sieging that land? I don't understand, but whatever. Go over there. You're basically done now. In fact, basically everyone's done. Because we have such a small area that we can march our troops there. Absolutely destroyed. We're slow. But if we catch you, holy fuck, are you screwed. Like right here. Look at the decimation. Absolutely destroyed. Killed 7,000. Siege that. I don't think there's anywhere you can sit, and I don't know that you can get... You can get to that fort. May as well siege that, I guess. Their troops are gonna run around and siege things, but I don't think it matters. We can catch them once we re-siege this stuff. Where are you going? Oh, right there. Am I at war with this dude? No. You just have military access, I guess. Siege is one. Holy shit, that was fast. I don't know what happened to that castle, but it just crumbled. 
Siege is lost. Oh, that one. That's fine. So we're just going to end up retaking that anyway. I would like to catch their army. It's going to be a pain since they took the castle, but... Welcome to playing on speed 5, by the way. There's a lot of pop-ups. I've gotten used to just letting the game run at 5 and then pausing a lot. Might get irritating for people watching, I'm not sure, but... We're victorious. For some reason, we'll catch this army. And to destroy it, because that's what our armies do. Where are my boats at? Where are my boats at, actually? I mean, what are you doing over here? It's pirates. Oh, it's technically not my land, I guess. It doesn't matter. I need you to go deal with them. All of this attrition we're suffering. Ooh. Make sure no one else joined this. No. The siege is won. You may march this way, capture those last two territories, and we've basically won forever. So. Ah, you've come to fight me, have you? How did that go for you, my friend? This'll auto-siege, I'm not worried about that. And then whenever we capture our own castle back, that stuff will become ours again, too, so... Just a matter of capturing Antipolis. Metopolis. I think that actually will force in this war over here as well. In favor of the defender. I think. Not entirely sure, but we've captured that. I'm gonna need you to not do whatever you're doing over there. It doesn't matter, we'll just end the war anyway. Get all this land, we get all the stuff over there, we get all your money. Good more Romans. And everyone... No, you go here. You two go back to Rome. And you just get off of Rome for simplicity. Go to Veti. Veti is fine. Actually, is there anything up here that supports the weight of one of these armies? Not really, no. Closest is 37, it looks like, yeah. That almost does. Whenever that hits the next civilization value, value it might actually be able to, but... Civilization value takes forever to go up. And I am gimping myself by not building marketplaces. Because marketplaces give you an increase to your civilization cap. So by not building them, I'm actually going to probably be a little behind on civilization. But that's okay, because we have granaries. What we lack in civilization value, we make up for pop count. He says. We don't really at the moment. It's it's really a long-term growth kind of pop count thing, but... We're up to 3,700. Which, of course, is going to be behind Phrygia because it's huge, but... We're not very far behind Phrygia. We're ahead of Carthage. So Lucid is also huge. Yeah, as is in India. India. But 3,700 pop... Just for the for Italy, basically, is what this is. Plus a little bit of Syracuse, but not bad. Most of this is proper uh, culture and religion, but the northern Italy up here in the mountains is a bit of a clusterfuck, so they're very unhappy. Which sucks. None of my business. Because they're unhappy, they have unrest with this thing up. So they're very unhappy and it will take a pretty long time for that to actually fix itself. Which is unfortunate. But why is this... Why are you running on autonomy? 
This is my capital region. You don't need to run on autonomy. Run on make me money. I need to fix all of these, probably because they've been sitting on this for so long. And I, I never actually changed them back. I don't think any of those... So those are all going to be a different governor. Let's look at our stuff real quick. Do so you still need some of that? You don't, though. You're done. I could just manually fix this, so we'll set that to wealth, and then manually convert stuff over here real quick, like, and in a hurry. He says, not realizing the, the cost of doing that, but... We don't need all of them converted, just most of them. Which I don't think that we can even do that either, but we'll work on it slowly. So that'll actually increase our money. I didn't, didn't realize we were running that for so long. And all the rest of this is a different governor, so... He'll do his own thing on his own time. <laughs> 